Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everybody on my YouTube page that subscribe. And I just want to, um, before I start this video, I want to give all glory to God in Jesus name. You know, I'm doing this video to explain my process of coming back to America. Um, you all know I'm Mac. Um, I came back on the I-134 humanitarian parole program and I just want to tell everybody the process and what to do and what not to do um I want to get that process out there for everybody so they could know how and what to expect and what's to happen um and I want to start off by saying it's free it's a free process it's a free application on the USCIS you can find the application the I-134 application and you have your family um, apply for you and I want to let all my um, people, all my returnees, all my people that got sent back from the state um, that you can apply and all everybody who's thinking that it's a time frame and I'm not the one to say that not to try, you know um, if it's for you who could be against you um and I just really feel that this is a process that God has sent for a lot of us to come return home, to see our families, to reunite. So I'm gonna tell everybody to try, to try. And my process is that um, you have your family apply. And once your family apply, um, you both will give an email address and they'll get an email that says that you did get approved and that your application is um, processing and you got approved and once you do once you um get that app get that email you'll go from the email and you'll download an application on your phone that's called a CB1 and what that is is basically how you're going to get your authority um the authorization letter and from that authorization letter um you're good you're good um to get the authorization letter you need um, a valid passport and you'll scan your passport and you'll take a picture with um, by yourself. You'll take a picture on the application and they'll also ask you to um, scan the passport and you'll take a picture of the passport. And that's also going to give you the authorization letter that you need. And after that, you can book your plane ticket to come back. And once you book your plane ticket, I know a lot of people are, 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 are leery or cold feet and don't understand what happens after that. So I'm going to explain. Once after that, once you um, book your plane ticket, you're um, most likely be flying out of Haiti. And once you get to the um, Haiti airport, you'll get to the airport and then they'll ask you for your authorization letter. You'll give them your authorization letter with your passport. You'll give them that. And they'll also ask you, um, um, from there, they'll process it, make sure it's a real passport, make sure that your, um, your authorization letter is not fraudulent. And from there, you get a boarding pass to board the plane. And upon boarding, um, they're just asking, you just going through the process, the security process, and they're asking you um, for the authorization letter. So you got to keep that in hand and keep that out and let everybody know that um, you, you, you're going through the process. So they'll be asking that through the checkpoints. And once you get through all the checkpoints, you'll be boarding the plane. And upon boarding the plane, you'll just be on your way back to America, you know. Um, and from there, um, the process of departing from the plane, getting off the plane. And that's where a lot of people don't know they, what they expect. And they are, everybody's just leery. They're thinking, because I was thinking myself that they're going to ask, have you ever been to the U.S.? They don't ask that. You do get fingerprinted upon um, coming off of the plane. You get fingerprinted. And from that first fingerprint that they fingerprint you, you go to um, immigration. You go to immigration, um, U.S. Customs and Enforcement, and then they'll take your passport and they'll ask you, um, and they'll take your authorization letter. And from there, you're, st you're sitting in a waiting room, a waiting room, and it's about three different waiting rooms. It depends where you fly into. I fly. In, I flew into 
Miami um, International Airport. So in the Miami International Airport, there was three waiting rooms that you have to fly into. Um, and also from there, you'll also, um, once you fly into those, once you fly into Miami, they'll ask you to sit down and then you'll be if probably three to three and a half hours wait. So expect that and also expect they're going to ask you some questions. And I thought they was going to be asking some some real intricate questions, but it's not. They're basically asking you where you're going to be living at. Is the address valid? And what relationship do you have with the person that um, that signed for you? And also they asked you, um, well, they asked me, um, have I ever been arrested in Haiti? So, um, and that's a vague question. It's a really a vague question, to be honest. Um, and he asked me that, and I said no, obviously, because I've never been arrested in Haiti. And and that's it. And that's the price. And that's the um, process. You know, it's a real simple process. It's a real easy process. And a lot of times we overthink. We overthink. There's a lot of guys who's overthinking and women, too, who's overthinking because, you know, we have a background. We have a past and we thinking that all um, our past and our background is going to get pulled up. But it's not. It's really not. It's a parole program. We got to understand that. So it's really going off of the um, supporter. So remember that that is going off of the supporter. And and that's it. I'm not going to make this video real long or real intricate. I just want to get straight to the point and let everybody know um, that I'm back and I made it back and I'm the first deported to make it back. Um, and I'm just sharing my process, sharing what everybody to expect going through it. And um, I just want to tell you if you um like what I said and if it resonate with you, just like, share, subscribe to the channel because there's going to be more and more updates of my process of how um, I'm going about getting my, I, um, what is it, how I'm going about getting my work permit, how I'm going about getting my green card. That's all a process, and I just want to um, make you involved with it, make you know that um, you're part of this process with me. So um, like, share, subscribe, and thank you, and may God bless you in the name of Jesus, everybody that's watching this.